Hey guys, it's iTech over a week, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to get something similar to the notification center on iOS 5 uh, being on one of the iOS 4 softwares. Alright guys, so uh, by the intro of my video, if you don't understand what I meant, uh, what I was trying to say is uh, there's two tweaks if you're like on, right now I'm on 4.3.3, well if you're in one of the iOS 4. Point whatever uh, softwares, uh, there's two tweaks you can install if you're jailbroken and it'll kind of get you uh, to have notifications uh, similar to iOS 5's. Uh, and I currently, I can go on iOS 5, uh, but I'm not actually, I don't know, it's iOS 5 because it's in the betas, it's not, it doesn't have a full jailbreak and, and not every uh, tweak that I like works on it. Uh, so I decided to go back to 4.3.3, it's a little bit more stable and everything. Uh, but I figured out two tweaks, if you put them together, uh, it kind of gives you something like iOS 5 notifications, um, just not as well as uh, iOS 5. Uh, so the two tweaks are, uh, the first one is mobile notifier and the second one is lock info. Now, if you guys don't know what either one of these tweaks are, mobile notifier simply, I'll show you in a little bit, I'll uh, text my iPod really quickly. Alright guys, I actually uh, got interrupted in the middle of my video, and uh, now my device changed a little bit, but what I left off was, I was going to send a text message to uh, my iPod so I can show you what mobile notifier is. Uh, and what I'm going to do is text this, this application right here, it's called text now, I'm going to text that, so you'll get a little pop up and I'll show you that's what mobile notifier is, so one second. All right, there you go. So now it's just text now. If I tap on that, it says who sent it. And uh, there you go. That's myself. And I just said K. And now I can dismiss it by hitting this down arrow right there. And I'll dismiss the message completely. Or I can hit reply. And uh, that'll bring me into the application where I can uh, go ahead and reply really quickly. Now that's one thing that iOS 5, it, it kind of has notification center. If you guys don't know, like you can kind of like slide it and stuff or just tap on it. And it brings you right into that, that application. So it's kind of similar in that way. Uh, and the next thing though it's a little bit different is if you double click the home button now, uh, actually it didn't show up for some reason, uh, sometimes the notifications they'll pop up in, in here, it'll say like new message, oh I know why it didn't, I already checked the message, that's why, the notifications are gone, so let me send uh, let me send up one more text message, one second here, just load this up, alright it's sending right now, so I'll show you, I'll give you an example. Alright, so now if I double click the home button, you can see it's got a new a notification in there and you can clear all of these. Now this is where the problem comes in. I like mobile notifier because it gives you that little bar that pops up and it gives that little transition, kind of how iOS 5 does. Uh, but also it, it shows all the notifications in uh, the multitask switcher. Uh, so what I do is normally I just clear them all out of there. But the thing that I don't like is because it, it kind of counts like lock info now if I slide down for lock info. Uh, so this is what kind of lock this is what lock input is. It kind of gives you an overview. Uh, the thing I don't like now is I have a notification in here telling me I have a new text message, and then I would have also have a new notification in here telling me I have a new text message. So it kind of doubles that, and that's one thing I don't like. Uh, so these two tweaks, I mean, it kind of gives you the similarity to iOS 5 notifications, but it's not exactly the same. Uh, but lock info and mobile notifier both are available in Cydia if you guys want to go ahead and get those. Um, another thing you can do with lock info. Uh, I'm not going to do a full out review on both of these tweaks, but another thing you can do with it is like if you're in your lock screen here, uh, it'll have a little like slide down. I don't have that right now because it's some of the tweaks I have uh, set up, uh, but it'll give you the notifications. Like the same thing that you see uh, right here when I slide down, that's pretty much on the lock screen. So it kind of gives you the same thing, uh, also making it look a little bit like iOS 5 notifications. Uh, so what I will do is go into my settings really quickly and I'll go ahead and kind of give you an example. Alright guys, so we're in lock info now, and if you go to, uh, right here, it'll say lock screen, and that's enabled. Uh, oh, I know what's going on. Okay, well, see, it's not doing it for me because I have, uh, I have a tweak called uh, gravity lock screen installed, so I'm going to go ahead and disable that really quickly. Alright guys, so now you can see I am on the lock screen, and uh, it's not organized too well. Well, right now I got a theme put on here, uh, so that's a little bit different. Oh, I see. See, now here's where the two tweaks collide. Uh, right here it says miss notifications. And that is, see now I can tap on that, and this is a uh, mobile notifier here. That's what that is. So I wish there was a way you can kind of disable the mobile notifier. Uh, I, I, you can't do it, but I wish you could in some way because that way you could take it off the lock screen, and that it, and that way you would just have the lock info uh, notifications on a lock screen rather than having both of them doubled up like that. So it's kind of all messed up and everything's mixed together like now. So the only thing that's that's just what I don't like about it. Now I mean if I go ahead and I double click my home button again and uh, clear out these notifications here. Now go back to the lock screen. Now it's you can see it's a little bit better. For some reason the lock info is uh, going like up into the date. I don't know why it's doing that. It might be different on your iPod or iDevice, whatever you're using. 
Uh, so you guys can give it a shot, try it out, see if you like it or not. Uh, but what the two tweaks are, once again, is lock info and mobile notifier. So you can just go ahead and go into city and get both of those. Um, and everything's set up pretty nicely. You can go into your settings, customize lock info and everything to your liking. Uh, and I think you can change the look of it a little bit. I got this uh, default look kind of. It goes along with my theme pretty nicely though, so I kept that. Uh, but... Yep, that's it guys. Uh, so if you want to try this out, and if you kind of want to get an iOS 5 notification system on um, iOS 4, uh, you, this is probably the closest way you're going to get to it. So that's all for this video guys, and if you enjoyed it, go ahead and thumbs it up. And also if you want to be notified whenever uh, I release new videos, go ahead and click up top and subscribe to me, and uh, you'll be notified on your, on your YouTube homepage every time I release a new video. But that's all guys, I hope you have a great day, and this is iTech Every Week, signing out.